So I myself am guilty of making this mistake in Diablo 4, but through my experience I hope to teach you guys about breakpoints with gear in Diablo 4 and how important they are when it comes to upgrading. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So you've probably heard the term breakpoints, item breakpoints, gear breakpoints. But today I hope to explain everything you need to know about them and exactly how they work for you. Okay, so every piece of gear in this game has a power range. You can see said power range of gear under its item name. Now there are six breakpoint tiers. These are tied to power ranges on that gear. And those you can see on the screen now. Breakpoint tier 1 is gear with a power range between 1 and 149. Breakpoint tier 2 is between 150 and 339. Breakpoint tier 3 is 340 to 459. Breakpoint tier 4 is 460 to 624. Breakpoint tier 5 is 625 to 724. And breakpoint tier 6 is 725 plus. So these are the gear breakpoints. But well, what's the point of this information? Well guys, when it comes to upgrading gear, which you do at the blacksmith, if you upgrade a gear piece which breaks tiers, you gain a massive increase in stats. For instance, if you have an item which is an uh, item power of 615, if you upgrade this enough, it will break out of that breakpoint tier 4 and go into a tier 5. And in doing this, you gain a massive jump in stats via the upgrade due to it breaking the point in which said gear is limited by the item power category it falls into. Now it's important to note, when you upgrade an item via the blacksmith, for each upgrade you only receive 5 towards the item power score or level. And item rarities are limited to how many times you can upgrade them. Rares I believe is 3 upgrades, legendaries are 4, sacreds, uniques and beyond are 5. Another thing to pay attention to is the fact when a breakpoint is passed via upgrading, there's a chance a fixes can reroll. So keep an eye on this when upgrading and make sure you check out that preview before spending materials. Now the mistakes not to make is wasting materials on items that won't break tiers or upgrading to a point and not paying attention and actually downgrading a fix which helps your build in a certain way. Breakpoints will make a big difference in regards to your build if you look out for gear lean towards the top end of them. So only a few upgrades which won't cost you important materials if you don't plan on using said gear for a long time is a wise choice. I personally wouldn't upgrade more than 3 times on say gear and wouldn't upgrade past 3 until I'm at or around that breakpoint tier 6 but hey that is just me. But yes guys, I hope this helps you out in some way or another. It's a complicated thing if you don't know about it and are confused about gear upgrading. But yes, these are basically breakpoint tiers, how they work on gear, the benefits and drawbacks to them. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.